In this video, we'll be looking at three ways to fix pixelated or jagged text in Photop. Hi there and welcome to the video. So I'm going to start today's tutorial with just a 1080p canvas. So I'm going to press T for the type tool. And I'm just going to click in the middle of the canvas and I'm just going to type something that's going to be the basis of our demo. So smooth seems quite apt because that's what you need to achieve with this video is nice smooth edges. And I'm just going to zoom in quite a lot just so we can see with more detail what's going on. Because I know with YouTube's compression and things like that, some of the fine details can get lost in videos. We can see straight away here that all the edges are jagged and pixelated. And this is what a lot of people complain about in Photop. It's the very first thing you should do to check, and this is more likely going to be the solution than anything else, is make sure your text layer is highlighted in the Layers panel and go to the menu at the top. And if you don't see any text related info, then just press the T key and it will bring them up. So here we've got the font, the size, the color, etc. We wanna to go to this box that says AA non. This is the anti-aliasing. Now we wanna open it and expand that box and choose one of the options apart from non. It doesn't really matter because they're very, very similar to be honest. So let's just put smooth because it all ties in. And you can see what's happened there. The anti-aliasing has kicked in and it's smoothed those edges out nicely and given us a nice soft finish to the edge of the text and not a harsh one, like if we turn the anti-aliasing off. So check your anti-aliasing mode is actually turned on and one of these are applied. That would always be the first port of call. Now, if that's the case and your text still looks jagged, there's another reason and that is down to the magnification level. And I'm not talking about zooming in too much. I'm talking about specific levels of zoom can actually mess with the appearance of the pixels. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to press Control and R or Command R if you're on a Mac to bring up the rulers, the rule guides. And the only reason I'm doing this is because you now get a magnification level display in the bottom left corner of the screen. So at the moment you can see it's 100%. So I'm going to try and zoom in and zoom out a few different levels and I'm firstly going to use the command or control plus minus way which zooms you in and out to some fixed magnification levels. So let's start off at 200%, nice and smooth still. Let's zoom out to 100% by pressing command or control on the minus key one more time, still looking smooth. Go to the next step, smooth again. Now we're at 50% and it's still looking good. And now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, oh, where's he going with this? Well, just bear with me. Because if we zoom out one more time, which is 33.33%, look what's happened. All of a sudden, the text looks horrible and jagged again. If we zoom back in one more step to 50%, it looks perfect. So why is this happening? Well, the first thing to note is it's not actually changing the text. By zooming out to this particular zoom level, magnification level, it's not altering the text in any way. It's just altering how it displays it to you. So at this magnification level and this resolution, etc., Photo P can't display that image in a way that represents proper quality of the text. If in doubt and you're zooming in and out and it's looking different and you're getting some strange artifacts, Always check at 100% or 50%. They are the two zoom levels where it's pretty much guaranteed to represent exactly what will be output when you save your file from Photop. Anywhere in between can be a bit misleading um, and can make you think that there's a problem with the text when there isn't. And this also applies if you use the zoom tool. So I press Z or Z, depending on where you're from, to get to the magnification zoom tool. And even if I zoom in instead of zooming out, as you can see in the bottom left corner now, the magnification percentage is being adjusted by very fine increments because I'm skipping, I'm, I'm bypassing, sorry, the magnification steps that Photop decide for you when you use the command control plus and minus. And I'm getting into very fine magnification levels here. And look what's happening. So we're at 127% now, which is a kind of an in-between number as far as zoom levels go. And the edges of the text look not great again. They've gone back to looking pixelated, but it looked fine at 200%. The only real way around it is to, is to check, like I said before, check at 100%, check at 50%. They're two solid, reliable zoom levels where everything should look as it should. But once you're confident that that's smooth, like 50% it looks really nice, 100% it looks really nice, then of course you can use your zoom tool to zoom to a level that's comfortable for you to work on, knowing confidently 
that if a certain magnification level makes it look pixelated, you can ignore it for the moment because it's still going to output fine when you save it. Okay, so that's just something to note on magnification and zoom levels because it is important. And there is one other thing, which is not as common, but this could be a fix for some people. So if you've tried all that and you're still not getting any joy, then one thing to check is the adjustment layers. So let, let me show you, for example, here, we've got the nice smooth text and I'm going to add, let's say, a curves adjustment layer above this. Now, this could represent color adjustments that you've done in your own image, and it could be one adjustment. It could be the result of many stacked on top of each other. But watch the edge of the watch the edge of the text. I'm going to do a really extreme curve. I'm going to exaggerate it so you can see what's going on. Right. So straight away there, as soon as I started to push that curve, it's destroyed the anti-aliasing of the text and it's made it go back to its jagged form again. Now we don't want this. We want the effect of the adjustment layer, but we don't want to destroy that edge. So if you ever have this happen because of adjustment layers, and this could also affect things like vector graphics that you've got, not just text, then there are two ways to fix this particular problem. One is you can go back to the adjustment layer that's causing the issue and you can just back the settings off so it's not clipping the adjustment and blowing things out and then just rein it back a little bit and you will restore the edge, but then you will lose the visual of the adjustment layer, which is not ideal. So I'm gonna show you my best way to deal with this. Let's push it again. So let's say we did some work and we like that color. To make sure it doesn't crunch up the edge pixels, all we need to do is get the offending adjustment layer or adjustment layers that are causing this to happen. Make sure they're directly above the text layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon in the layers palette and hold the Alt key and click on the icon while holding the Alt P and what that, the Alt key, sorry, the Alt P. And that will create a clipping mask of that effect onto the text. And as you can see, it's restored the smooth edge. So let's, let's reverse that so I can show you a before and after. So Alt click on the adjustment layer icon again. And now it's just affecting everything in the image. As you can see, it crunches the edges up. But if you hold Alt and click on it above the text layer, it will clip the adjustment to the text layer and it will then preserve all of the anti-aliasing and smoothness from the original.